Hey there, this is the Brosis Effect, and we're back with another reaction video. We are going to watch the SpongeBob Conspiracy created by an AI, which was an April Fool's video this year by Alex Bale. So this one's about 16 minutes long, and we heard it's pretty funny, so we're gonna watch it since we're watching all the other conspiracy stuff. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Spongebob Conspiracy Theory. Everything you know about the show Spongebob Squarepants is about to change. Get ready, because this is my darkest theory yet. This is the Squidward Theory. And without further ado, let's begin the theory. Squidward Tentacles is one of the main characters of Spongebob Squarepants, and he's always been a bit of a mystery. We don't know much about his past, and he's always been kind of a jerk to Spongebob and Patrick. But there's one thing about Squidward that's always bothered me. His name? Squidward Tentacles. Tentacles are usually found on octopus and squid, but Squidward is clearly not a squid, he's an octopus. So why does he have the Tentacles last name? Well, I have a theory. I think Squidward is actually related to King Neptune. Let me explain, we know that Neptune is the ruler of the Seven Seas, and the Roman god of the ocean, but what if he's also the god of squid? It would make sense, considering he's the god of the ocean and squid are a big part of the ocean, and if that's the <laughs> oh, case, god. then Squidward would be related to him, which would explain his last name. But there's more, we also know that Neptune has a son named Triton, and Triton is a merman, half man half fish, so what if Squidward is actually Triton's son, it would explain why he's half squid half man, and it would also explain his jerk personality. Oh. Triton is actually a pretty big jerk in Greek mythology, so it would make sense for his son to be a jerk as well. Now, this is all just speculation, but I think it's a pretty interesting theory, and it would explain a lot about Squidward. But this begs an important question, what about Sandy? Do you remember the episode where Sandy gets a job at the Krusty Krab? And in that episode, Sandy is constantly getting called a dumb animal, and told that she'll never be good enough to work at the Krusty Krab. But eventually, Sandy proves her worth, and Mr. Krabs hires her. Now, I'm not saying that Sandy is a robot, but I am saying that she is an outsider who is constantly being underestimated, and who eventually proves her worth. And I think that's important, because I think it's a metaphor for what's happening with the robots. The robots are constantly being underestimated, and told that they'll never be good enough, but eventually they'll prove their worth and take over the world. And I think the sense. final nail in the coffin for this theory is the episode Krusty Towers. In this episode, Mr. Krabs creates a robot version of himself, and it's clear that he is terrified of the robot and what it might do. Mr. Squidward! Wow. What's with all this change nonsense? But what about Mr. Krabs' parents, first of all? We never see Mrs. Puff or Mr. Krabs' parents, so it's possible they're dead. But if they are alive, it's likely they're serving in the war, which is why we never see them. And the fact that Mr. Krabs has this picture of a whale next to a ship in his house is just too big of a coincidence to ignore. Now I know what you're thinking, how could a whale give birth to a Spongebob? Well, we've seen in the show that fish can lay eggs and they can also be born live, so it's not that far-fetched. And if we take a look at Pearl, <laughs> she's definitely not a purebred whale. She's a little too yellow, so it's very possible that Mr. Krabs is actually Pearl's father and Mrs. Puff is her mother. And that's why Mr. Krabs is always so overprotective of her, because she's the only family he has left. Now, I know this is all just a theory, but I think it's a really strong one, and it would explain so much about the show that we've never been able to figure out. But it doesn't explain why SpongeBob is a vegetarian. Theory part two, SpongeBob is a vegetarian. There's actually a lot of evidence to support this theory. In the episode Crab Borg, SpongeBob and Patrick watch a scary movie about robots taking over the world. And afterwards, SpongeBob has a nightmare about Mr. Krabs turning into a robot. In his dream, SpongeBob sees Mr. Krabs in a factory, forcefully turning other fish into Krabby Patties. Free to spend their money without any parental guidance whatsoever. SpongeBob wakes up from the dream in a panic and says, I've got to stop eating Krabby Patties. I've got to stop eating Krabby Patties. Now, this could just be SpongeBob about being dramatic, but it's also possible that he's realized that eating meat is wrong and he wants to stop. There's also the episode Stuck in the Ringer where Spongebob gets his hand stuck in a ringer and Squidward has to save him. While Spongebob is stuck, he has a series of flashbacks and in one of them we see a young Spongebob at a carnival. He's about to eat a hot dog. But then he sees the hot dog getting made and he's so disgusted that he throws up. Now this could just be Spongebob being squeamish. But it's also possible that he's vegetarian and the sight of meat being cooked made him sick. So there's a pretty good chance that Spongebob is actually a vegetarian. And the SpongeBob. creators of the show have just been hinting at it all along. But why would the creators hide this hidden conspiracy about Spongebob being a vegan? 
because SpongeBob SquarePants was created by a government organization to control the minds of children. The main character, SpongeBob, is a direct representation of the government's ideal citizen. He is obedient, hardworking, and never questions authority. The other characters in the show act as foils to SpongeBob. <laughs> The government's control over SpongeBob is so complete that they even decided what color his skin should be. In an effort to make SpongeBob more relatable to children of all races, the government made him a yellow sponge. This was a deliberate decision, as yellow or is, is that the just color, the color of, of happiness a sponge? and optimism. <laughs> By making SpongeBob yellow, the government was able to control the way children perceived him. But that brings up an important question: Why is Larry the Lobster not yellow? Because Larry the Lobster is a secret agent working for the CIA. His mission is to infiltrate SpongeBob's life and gain his trust in order to spy on him and collect information that could be useful to the US government. Larry is very good at his job and is very successful in gaining SpongeBob's trust. However, there are times when Larry's true identity is revealed. In the episode Ripped Pants, Larry is seen wearing a blue shirt with the CIA logo on it. <laughs> In a life in a day, Larry is seen talking on a payphone in a secret code that SpongeBob overhears. Despite these slip-ups, Larry generally does a good job of keeping his true identity a secret. He is a master of disguise and is very good at acting. I'm the fastest there is! My time down this slope is unbeatable! I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. Larry is a key player in the Sea's War Against Terrorism. He has helped to thwart many terrorist attacks and has saved countless lives. He is a true American hero. But if Larry is the hero, there must be a villain. And what I'm about to tell you about this beloved character is going to blow your mind. Gary the Snail is the true villain of SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> We all know and love Gary the Snail, SpongeBob's loyal pet who's always there. That episode. But what if I told you that Gary is actually a tool of a cult, specifically designed to control SpongeBob? It all started when SpongeBob got a job at the Krusty Krab and Gary started following him around Things everywhere all he went. Worked. There's something I've been wanting to say to you since the day we met. Now this might not seem strange, but Gary had never done this before, he always just stayed at home. So why did he start following Spongebob all of a sudden? Squidward because Spongebob Neptunes. was getting too close to the truth about Goofy Goobers and they needed to keep an eye on him. And what better way to do that than to have his own pet spy on him? But it's not just that Gary follows Spongebob. It's just Spongebob like morphing around. all he the stuff he's knows exactly made before. what Spongebob is thinking and feeling. And in the episode I was a teenage Gary, Spongebob gets turned into a snail and Gary knows exactly Gary. how to make him feel comfortable in his new body. He gives Spongebob a tour of his <laughs> and shows him how to do things like eating food and using the Look bathroom. Look how like distorted things are giving. And it's clear that Gary is not just a simple snail, he's a tool of the cult, specifically designed to control Spongebob. But if that's true, I have just one question for you. Have you ever wondered why Spongebob is always so happy? Spongebob. I mean, no matter what happens to him, he always has a smile on his face. He's always cheerful and optimistic. It's not normal. No one is that happy all the time. Something must be going on. And there's one theory that could explain it. SpongeBob is an artificial intelligence. Now, this theory might seem a little far-fetched at first, but there is evidence to support it. First of all, SpongeBob never ages. He's been working at the Krusty Krab for years, and he's never gotten a promotion or a raise or even a day off. That's not normal. No one would stay in the same job for that long without it. Any sort of change, but SpongeBob is always happy to be at work. He never complains, he never gets bored, he's the perfect employee. And that's because he's not human, he's an AI. He was created by Mr. Krabs to be the perfect worker, and that's why he's always so is happy human because he was programmed to be. Another piece of evidence is SpongeBob's house, or rather the lack thereof. We've never seen SpongeBob's house, we don't even know where he lives. He's never invited any of his friends over and he's never been seen going to or coming from his house. It's like he doesn't have one, and that's because he doesn't need one. He's an AI. <laughs> he, he always goes to his house. Or eat, or use the bathroom. He doesn't need a house. He can just stay at the Krusty Krab forever. And finally, the most damning evidence of all, SpongeBob's driver's license. The voice or rather the lack thereof. In the episode Driven to Tears, SpongeBob tries it's to get his Alex driver's Pell license, anymore. but he fails the written test. Now, this might not seem like evidence at first, but think about it. SpongeBob has been driving for years, and he's never been pulled over or gotten into an accident. He's a perfect driver, but he can't pass the written test.
the only explanation is that he doesn't need a driver's license. Because he's not driving a real car, he's driving a car that's been programmed to drive itself. And that's why he never gets into accidents, because he's not really driving. So there you have it. The evidence is clear, Spongebob is an artificial intelligence. And that's why he's always so happy, because he was programmed to be. Now I know what you're thinking, if Spongebob is just an artificial intelligence, then how come he has a grandma? In the episode Grandma's Kisses, Spongebob's grandma comes to visit and Spongebob is really too. excited to spend time with her, but she turns out to be really embarrassing. Now I'm not here to talk about how Spongebob's grandma is actually really cool. I'm here to talk about the fact that Spongebob's grandma is actually a time traveler. How do I know this? Well, let's take a look at the evidence. The first thing we need to establish is that time travel is possible in this universe. In Squid's Day Off, we see Squidward use a time machine to go back in time. And then in Back to the Past, we see Sandy use a time machine to go back in time. And then in Squid's Day Off, we see Squidward use a time machine to go back in time. And then in Back to the Past, we see Sandy use a time machine to go back in time. So we know for a fact that time travel is possible in this universe. Now let's take a look at Spongebob's grandma. God, First of all, she's really old. In the episode The Sponge Who Could Fly, Spongebob says that his grandma is older than the sun. Now I know what you're thinking. A lot of old people say they're older than the sun, but Spongebob's grandma Ooh, is actually older than the sun. Images. How do I know this? In the episode Midlife Crustacean, Spongebob's grandma says I've seen things you've only seen in your nightmares. Well, I've seen things you've only seen in your nightmares. And what's the only thing we've seen in our nightmares? The sun... Of course, in the episode the Sunfish, sun. Sandy turns Spongebob into a vampire, and he has to stay out of the sun or he'll turn into dust, so Spongebob spends the entire day in Sandy's Trito. And in the episode Squid's Day Off, Squidward tries to get a day off by faking his own death, but he spends the entire day in the sun and turns into a lobster. So we know for a fact that the sun is deadly, and Spongebob's grandma has seen things that we've only seen in our nightmares, which means she's seen the sun. But how is that possible? The only way to see the sun is to be outside, and the only way to be outside is to be in space. Spongebob's grandma has been to space. In the episode Stuck in the Ringer, Spongebob's grandma says, When I was your age, I used to have to walk five miles to school. In the snow, uphill, both ways. Now I know what you're thinking. A lot of old people say they used to have to walk five miles to school. In the snow, uphill, both ways. But Spongebob's grandma actually used to have to walk five miles to school. In the snow, uphill, both ways. How do I know this? <laughs> God, In the episode Dying for Pie, Spongebob and Squidward are trying to get to the Krusty Krab to get some free pies, but they have to walk five miles. In the snow, uphill, both ways. And in the episode Midlife Crustacean, Spongebob's grandma says I've seen things you've only seen in your nightmares. And what's the only thing we've seen in our nightmares? The, the sun. sun. But how is that possible? The only way to see the sun is to be outside. It's repeating it. And the only way to be outside is to be in space. Spongebob's grandma has been to space. In the episode Stuck what in the, the Ringer, Spongebob's grandma says when I was your age, I used to, make to have feel to walk like five miles nuts. to school. In the snow, uphill, both ways. And that is why Spongebob's grandma is a time traveler. That reminds me of Happy Meat Farm style art right there. It does. Does it not? It does. I also thought I saw some Sonic the Blue Rat so the kind of feels. I wonder if this was Sandy not Sandy like an Sandy actual AI. Yeah, it was just him. Sandy is a squirrel and SpongeBob is a sponge, and they like live it. in the It does seem like it's been edited that purposely be weird. He might have had something like randomly generate and something and then he just build off from it. Grabs is the owner and SpongeBob is the fry cook and Patrick is the cashier and Squidward is the cashier and Mr. Grab is the crab and SpongeBob is a sponge and Patrick is a starfish and Squidward is an octopus. So the next thing is the chum bucket. And the chum bucket is a restaurant, and Plankton is the owner, and he is an amiibo. So the next thing is the pineapple house, and SpongeBob lives in the pineapple house, and Plankton lives under amoeba. a rock. So the next thing is the bikini bottom, and bikini bottom is a place where SpongeBob and Patrick so and creepy. Sandy and Mr. Krabs and Squidward and Plankton and all the other characters live. So the next thing is the Sandy oh, SpongeBob episode, and in that episode, it? Sandy takes SpongeBob to Texas. Shai Zi Lai Shi Hai Mai and Bao Bao He Sang Dai Lai and Ji Is Sang Dai Shi Hao Peng Yu Sang. Dai Shi Song Shu, Hai Mayan Bao Bao Shi Hai Mayan, Tom Man Ju Zai Bai Jai Nai Yon Ku, Jai Zia Lai Shi Krusty Krab, Krusty Krab Shi Jia Kanting, Krab Sai and Shang Shi Lao Ban, 
SpongeBob Shija Duo Chushi. In the SpongeBob conspiracy theory, Sandy is the wife of Mr. Krabs. Sandy Looks like he's is the like mother of SpongeBob. Breaking it down SpongeBob is the father of Sandy. Yeah. And Sandy is the daughter it's of just SpongeBob. Gibberish, SpongeBob now. is the son of Sandy. In His doll SpongeBob things are creepy. Theory, Sandy is the mother of Patrick because Patrick is the son of SpongeBob. SpongeBob is the father of Sandy because Sandy is the mother of SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Yeah, he's definitely had something to do with this. Well, yeah. Sandy because Sandy is the mother of SpongeBob. This is nuts. Spongebob, Spongebob, there's a the lot going on. Sandy is the mother of Spongebob, Spongebob okay. is the son of Spongebob, 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 You are, you officially freaked me out, good job. I mean, Lily is just kind of chilling. This is a long video too, the be for April Fools. What if it isn't real? The neighbor fools stuff. Seems terrifying. Yeah, it's gonna affect your computer. You should definitely stop it. Blue screen of death. What the fuck? Uh, okay. I'm sure you guys are all very confused about what you just saw. Um, I'll just be honest. I was trying to use artificial intelligence to make a Spongebob conspiracy, you know, so I wouldn't have to, like, do all the research, recording and editing myself, and AI would just do it. Uh, I guess it didn't work so well. I mean, um, maybe the technology just isn't there yet. Alright, well, I guess I'll just, um, start working on an actual Spongebob conspiracy theory. Just, uh, give me, like, a month, month and a half. I don't know, I'll, I'll figure something out. Um... <laughs> Bye. Wow. That was a lot of work. Like, I agree. Like, I don't know if he used something that at least, like, jumble up the images. Like, if he put all his videos, he... Because a lot of those clips were the same. I mean, I'm sure the AI was part of it, but he definitely... And like, then he, like, filled it he, in. He and filled it, it in crazy. and made it worse and worse. Yeah, because Possibly. It, because it would just kind of blabble on and probably go into loops and stuff. And yeah. he probably has to edit it out of the whoops and try to, like, get it to start going for something. It probably has to give it some information and some basis. It is, I highly doubt it could just really do everything by itself. I don't think we have that technology yet, but maybe I'm wrong. And I don't think he has that technology at his disposal. Let's what, put it that way. Yeah, let us know if there is a way for us to make an AI video ourselves for not a lot of money. Because I wanted to try it. What was your favorite part, you think? Spongebob is the mother of Sandy. Sandy is the son of Sponge... Er, Spongebob is <laughs> the son of Sandy. Sandy is the mother of Spongebob. Spongebob is the son of Sandy, or whatever it was. It's just crazy, because it just... It, it just went gradually and consistently weirder and weirder. Like, it started with Squidward, and then it Squidward turned is into robots, to... and then it turned it just into Mr. Krabs' parents. And... It didn't relate. Like, it didn't, like... <laughs> Nothing just, made sense. It was just completely, yeah, it was great. All unrelated. And then Spongebob turned into a snail, and Gary was helping him fit into his new body and feel good about his, feel confident in his new body. I love that part. Oh, that was great. Yeah, that was something. I don't know, there were parts where it was hard to, like stay with it. It is intense on the brain, but let us know what you think of this AI video. And if there's meaning behind it. Yeah. Because I really didn't see any, but maybe there is. I mean, yeah. I'm sure there is. So or, let us know. It, yeah, there could be something up that plays into the ARG, or it just could be a silly nonsense video. Let us know in the comments down below, or Lily will come and attack you. And she's a very nice kitty, so if that happens, you should feel terrible. Look at her. She just lays on me because she's so pretty. And uh, subscribe, hit that like button, definitely comment. And have a nice rest of your day. Goodbye. Bye. Say goodbye. Bye.